So our weather whiz kid tonight is extremely smart. Yes. And handsome as well. Hmm. Wonder where he gets that from. Let's hmm. see. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I have the special weather question today. It has to do with wind, and it's from somebody that's, uh, well, very dear to me. Here's our weather whiz kid tonight. Hi, my name is Jet from Star Elementary, and my weather question is how does the wind blow? Great question, Jet. Absolutely. Jet is my son. And so uh, we're going to answer his question tonight. A basic weather question that kind of is the building blocks of all of weather. Jet asked that question, and some people in class were talking about wind and asking about wind and how it worked today. And so I want to talk a little bit about how that does work. So here's the Earth. Here's the sunshine in June. The sun is very high in the sky, and so the sun's rays come in very direct, and the energy is very focused, so it gets very warm in this area. While well, the wintertime, for instance, now and last month, especially when the the sun angle comes in, it's very low in the sky because the earth is tilted away from the sun. And so a lot of that energy gets spread out and much of it reflects off the atmosphere and off the ground as well. But in the summertime, you have this heating. Even during the summer when the sun is coming in strong here, a different part of the earth, it's not coming in strong. So what happens is because the earth is round, we have wind and we have weather because the sun unevenly heats the earth. So what happens is you get a bubble of warm air developing here. It expands and it rises. And as air rises, something has to come in to replace it. So cool air comes in from either a loft or from another location. So when air is coming in from another location and you have moving air, that is wind. So basically, that's where wind comes from. It is air masses that are moving because the earth is being heated unevenly. So in the wintertime, we have snow and ice. Ice. We have constant heat loss during the wintertime when there's no sunshine in the northern hemisphere. And so the sunlight is coming in very ineffective because in the wintertime, there's not much going on. The southern hemisphere, there's more heating going on. So we're constantly having air masses shifting around, trying to balance out, trying to get a very co consistent temperature. The average temperature across the, the globe is just above 50 degrees, but we never really have that in most locations because it's colder in some locations and warmer in other locations. So now the earth is spinning and that unfortunately makes a very complicated massacre. The wind doesn't just blow from areas of extra air, high pressure, to areas of less air, low pressure. We basically have a curve. So we have clockwise flow around a high pressure and then it goes around, then it goes inside a low pressure this way and it gets to the middle of nowhere else to go. So it rises. And by the way, rising air causes precipitation and clouds and rain. And so that's how we get wind around low and high pressure how it works. We can also get wind with the strong upper level jet stream winds. The sun then heats the ground, air bubbles up like this and mixes some of that air down to the surface. And so that strong wind actually comes down aloft. That night, the breezes that we had during the day, they're still there. They just go up into the air. And then during the day, the sun comes back out, warms it up, and brings the breeze right back down to the ground. One last way we can do that is we can heat the ground near the ocean. Roland spent a lot of time near the ocean. He just told me that. Warm air rises up, and then we have to replace it so cool air comes in from the sea breeze. And that's a sea breeze. You've got air moving in to replace the warm air that's rising. That's how the wind blows. Can you imagine being at the Dorval dinner table? It was a nice day out today, Daddy. Well, let me just tell you how it really was. <laughs> I pulled the chart out. <laughs> Pull it down and start, you know, doing it. I love it. No, Hi, Jet. Glad you were part of the team tonight. Jet knows a lot of this stuff already. I think so.